Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just did a video about this star. Then the same person after I did it for them, they they want to put stars on the tip. So let's hold down the control button and make a star. Let's turn it into a six-sided star and hit P. Turn it back to a five-sided star. Now the five-sided star is in the center. Let's take another star, holding down the control button and hit, let's make it a little bit smaller. And then hit P. Select them both and hit T. Probably the most important thing is to make sure it fits and it's a little bit off. So let's take our, let's take that star, go to object, convert it to a curve. Now we can handle the nodes and try to get the shape tool and try to stay even and put that, lock that to that one. Do the same, the other one should be fine. It's just that outer edge. Just kind of nudge this over, try to stay equal. Now, let's take that star, control D and make a duplicate, move the center rotation to the center, double check it, make sure it is, and it is, control D, 72 degrees, control D, control D, control D. Now, let's see how big this thing is. It's 16 inches, we'll set our nudge factor at 18, which is fine. Hit your plus key, and now we need to weld this. Wow, it didn't work. Sometimes a weld key works, sometimes it doesn't. Easiest thing to do is just take your smart fill tool and cut away these lines. That's what we don't need right now. We just need the outer lines because we're going to take, well, actually, we're going to need to do this. Cut all these lines away. And you could have done, and the weld, weld tool should have worked. I don't, maybe it's because I converted them to a curve or maybe I needed to group them together. But this works just as well. And what we're gonna do now is take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. That's gonna be our outside cut. Left click, right click on hairline. Then we can get rid of this guy. But we need these other lines. We need these interior black lines right here to be black. So we can do a couple of things. We can just take the Smart Fill tool and just wipe through here and leaving, whoop, I went too far. Um, we just need to virtual segment, virtual segment delete key these lines because we want, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I'm trying to do too much at one time. So now if we take and get rid of these lines, we have just those lines. Select them all, double click on your pen tool, turn them something other than a hairline. I'm gonna make them four points so we can see them and make them in black because they're gonna engrave. And then just bring your welded star over and what's gonna happen is that's gonna be, it's gonna show off the star more. I think I missed a line. I did right there. So take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. And then just move that back. So that's gonna, if you do this on a combination job, this is gonna engrave. And you can actually in vector engrave it by either color mapping or uh, just running it twice and making this back to a hairline and just run it at less power and less speed so it doesn't burn all the way through. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.